Okay, so here I have built a coil winding jig um, to make a 7,000 turn electromagnet. And what I got here is my drill. And I have that connected to a tiny piece uh, of connects, um, just a little blue piece. Uh, drilled a little hole in the end of the core. That's a 1018 steel, one and a half inch diameter core. And I went ahead and just popped that in there, um, taped it for extra support, built this little jig for it to sit on with uh, rolling wheels. Um, so the other side is supported and then it has this cam on it um, every time that cam rolls around it hits the enter button and it counts how many turns I have gone on that calculator there and we got our coils of coil of wire sitting in this connects box um, on that spool it's a uh, 14 and a half gauge and we're going to use this lid to keep some friction on the wheel so it doesn't uh, spool out and like a fishing line or something get all tangled up um, so I'll show you how the counter works here the counter is just you just go one plus one and then it's all ready to go and Alright, so now I'm going to hook up the wire and I'll show you how to coil it. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm back. Uh, we got the wire on here. We have it punched through a little hole here. I've done four turns already just to test it out. Um, we had to reverse the direction of this just so that this doesn't come off. Um, and this is pretty stiff wire, so this is going to be pretty hard to keep it straight and even but we're going to do our best here we go you stop it every now and then just jog it back get it straight and tighten up in there Oops. One downside to using connects. We're all set. Ready to go. And that's how it works. And I'll show you the final product when I'm done.